Today I got my Tespin multifunctional wire stripper. And I was really excited to get this because I think it has a lot of cool features. So first off, these wire strippers also double as a non-contact voltage tester. And Tespin does send these with batteries, not like that toy that you got for Christmas in the third grade. But if you're thinking more about your project than you are thinking about safety, hopefully you at least remember to hit the button on the wire stripper. And then if anything is energized, you'll get the beeping sound. And I will say the one thing that is a little bit frustrating about the non-contact voltage detector is that every time you seem to sit it down, it turns on. So without me hitting the button, it just turned on. These also have the ability to crimp insulated and non-insulated terminals. So essentially what you have is a streamlined version of these. I mean, these are nice, but something like this is a little bit more, um, I don't know, automatic, more ergonomic. Just put the wire in there and just squeeze versus, you know, something like this to where you have to put the wire in and flip these around and, and uh, actually kind of work at stripping the wire. These absolutely do function the same way though. These wire strippers can strip wire anywhere from 10 to 24 gauge. So you can strip the AC wires in your house, like your 12 gauge or your 14 gauge wire, but then you can also strip the smaller automotive wire. If you're doing wire in your home, this is what you're gonna see sticking out of the box, is your wires here. And so what you'll do is you'll just put a wire in and then pull this back to strip the wire. I think this little clear piece is a stop, so if you want to kind of judge kind of where you want to make, you know, how, how long you want to make the strip portion of the wire. And if you notice that the wire isn't stripping properly, you can move this dial back and forth and it'll tighten or untighten the jaws a little bit. And if you do make a mistake, there's also a built-in cutter. So maybe it's just me, but what I noticed is when I go to strip the wire, the wire actually strips clear back to here, not over by this uh, cutting edge. So I've tried adjusting the screw back and forth and I can't seem to make it work. It seems like every time I go to use this, it does strip right there. Yeah, and there it just did it again. So it's almost like this cutting blade isn't cutting. It's almost like this is just kind of pulling it forward and it's almost just kind of cutting at this point right here. So what that wire stripper is meant to mimic is something like this, to where you have the cutting edge here, back in the back, the wires are held, you put it in the proper gauge hole and strip the wires off. These are pretty efficient and I like how there's just a flat surface here, where with the Testman, there's these sharp edges here that are, I guess, supposed to hold the wire, I'm guessing, because this should be your cutting edge. And so, it just seems like it tears that wire up right there, and now you've got this super long spot. So it's kind of hard to get the stripped off distance that you need. So I did notice on the Romex, it doesn't seem to work really well, but when you use something like this DC wire, it seems to strip off just perfectly. So since this is a review video, of course I want to be honest, I would say that these are great for automotive applications. So if I was working on my trailer or something like that where I had the smaller stranded wire and I had the ability to crimp my connectors and cut and things like that, I would definitely want these and I'm definitely going to file this away with my automotive electrical equipment and I definitely like this for that. I would say as far as using this for your home, as far as like stripping Romex or something like that. I don't think these are that good. Um, unless I'm doing something wrong, please put something in the comments if you're like, hey idiot, like you're doing this wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be your cutting edge, which I saw that in that stranded wire. And then this is supposed to hold the Rome, like the wire itself. So when I was using the Romex, of course, it stripped off right here at these sharp edges. So maybe if this is more of a blunt edge here, just to kind of hold the wire instead of kind of cut through it, this would work really well for Romex, but I would say this thing doesn't work for Romex, but absolutely, if you're a car guy or girl, I would definitely get a pair of these. They're not that expensive. 
So we always try to tuck up the products that we review and these wire strippers definitely have a lot of great features but there's also a lot of limitations, especially for me when I work inside around the home and do a bunch of side jobs inside people's homes. These aren't gonna work for Romex so it's kind of a deal breaker for me. But you know, if it's something that you could use, like I said, for trailers or cars or something like that, that would be great. And then also the non-contact voltage detector works from 70 volts to 250 volts. So that might also be something that's not gonna work for automotive. And of course in your home, it might be tough to run around the house and use it as a non-contact voltage detector. So definitely some limitations and I absolutely love a lot of Testman's other products. So definitely check those out. And please don't forget that we have a ton of electrical videos that will hopefully help people out around the home. I've tried to take electricity, which is kind of complicated, electrical work that's kind of complicated and make it easier for people to understand. And so definitely check out the videos if there's something that you might be interested. Look through our electrical playlist and see if there's anything that might help you out. And we're so grateful for everyone to support our channel and thanks for watching.